Just how much cleaner is my sink compared to Heather's sink? Stay tuned, you guys will find out that answer. All right, what's going on YouTube? Chris back here again with another video. And for today, we're gonna be sponsored by Depths Tech. So they were kind enough to send out a cool freaking bore scope to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little review on the unboxing of it, play around with it, and then expect a review of this product itself. So currently I don't really need a bore scope, but it's always very handy to have one. You never know when you need to look in any kind of nook or cranny, whether it be on your car or on the house. So um, definitely gonna be something that everybody should probably have if you're a Mr. DIY uh, do-it-yourselfer. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crack this thing open because I'm super stoked that they were able to send this out to me. So huge thanks again to Depth Tech and uh, this is the DS700 series. So let's go ahead and get into it. So like I said, the DS700 series from Depth Tech. So comes in a nice hard Pelican case. Gonna flip it over, and just I can just tell the quality of this thing. It's all nice and packaged, nice and in a sleeve. So we have the unit there itself. Here is our camera. Some instructions in there. So let's see. Pretty light for what it is. But this thing is absolutely beautiful. Has a little stand on the back that way you can prop it up. That's always useful. So I can just set it just like that while I'm trying to record what I'm trying to view. So yeah, again, here is our camera and our hose. Instruction manual, which will come in handy. Looks like extra set of fuses. I'm not entirely sure and then a USB cable to charge and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and see what we got. So straight from out of the box, let's just go ahead and plug this in, this little coax cable. Be careful not to bend any of the pins. That slides on nice and easy. Go ahead and cinch this down. So there's that. So now that we have that all plugged in, let's go ahead and power on, just hold the power button. All right, beginner's guide, keep in mind, I'm going through this step by step with you. So basically this top right hand button, single press to take a photo or long press to go ahead and take a video. Um, switching the camera views here, the button down below. View rotations, so that's pretty cool. Camera light settings and large view. So there's a lot of different features on this thing. And then a barcode if you want more tutorials. So that's pretty cool. All right, so this is what the camera's picking up right now. Um, the lens is still in that little wrapping. So that's what you're seeing right now. There's some of the carpet probably. But so far, this thing is pretty spot on. I've, I've worked with a couple borescopes at work in the past. And uh, this has no lag to it, very clear photos. So let's go ahead and unwrap this and see what we can see. What's funny is that's the, the wrapping on the screen. And now you guys can see the camera. <laughs> pretty, pretty funny, all right? Um, and keep in mind, I'm pretty sure when you download the video and whatnot, it's gonna come out a little more crisp, but that's pretty clear what we would try to be looking at. So I also like that not only is it flexible, but it's pretty sturdy. As you guys can see, it's standing up. You can get to where you want to, go through any tubing, piping, stick it down below, get the real-time footage of what you're looking at. So very useful. So over here playing with the views, and uh, as you can see, this has multiple cameras on here. So you can see different angles as you're probing whatever you need to. Um, just by pushing this button right here, you can toggle around different views. As you can see, there's a lot. There's a lot that you can see. So this is a very beneficial tool if you're trying to find something, trying to find a crack, get into places you can't see, get around the corner. Um, very good for inspections. Pretty impressed with this thing, I am not gonna lie. 
All right, down on the bottom of the unit, this is where the USB is going to go for the charging, and then you have your SD card. So that's what is down below right there. Nice and rubber, so it looks like it's like waterproof um, or water resistant, one of the two, right? Um, yeah, pretty impressed with this thing. This is definitely a powerful tool that I can definitely going to be seeing myself using. All right, so since I don't have anything to test on the actual car at the moment, I do have something I want to test on our bathroom sink. So my wife's, her sink doesn't really drain properly. The flow of the water is very low. So it gets very clogged pretty easy. I don't know what the deal is. Um, and at my end, it's nice and clean because it doesn't have those issues. So with this borescope, I'm going to look down into the drain and see the differences, see what's going on in there. So it'll be a pretty interesting little test piece. All right, here we are in the bathroom. There is my sink. There is her sink. So like I said, from the outside, they look the same. But on the inside, this has issues draining, whereas mine doesn't. Here is our borescope or endoscope, whatever you want to call it. I'll have it propped up right here. And let's just see what we can see down here. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. Look, all that junk up in there. And like I said, this is live and direct. Let's get this back end. Yeah, you can just see that it's, it's just filled with all that gunk. Now, if we want to play around, just the brightness, so it's a little darker there. Zooming in, zooming out. There's the brightness. Let's change cameras. So that's a different view, or a different side of the camera. Change it again. So these are like the sides of the camera, so it might be too close on some of the stuff in there. If you pull it out, yeah, it's just the side over here, catching my cable. Hit it again. Here's the actual looking down into the sink. And that's what we're seeing here it splits off into the two cameras so like I said you can see a lot of stuff with this it is waterproof so that's another good thing about it but yeah this could this can go way down there it's nice and durable it's waterproof and here is the tip as you can see there's nice LED bright lights on there a lot of stuff that you can utilize this with and there's a lot of cable here and not like too much where you're dragging a lot of it around that stuff that you're not going to use this is a good size length of cable but, um, yeah playing around in here yeah, you can just you can just see how dirty it, how dirty it is all gunked up so there's hers let's take a look at mine go ahead and flip this around As you can see, mine just looks a lot cleaner. There's some gunk down there. I don't know what that is. Some hair and whatnot from shaving. This backside has a little more. But overall, my side of the sink's a lot cleaner. But um, figured that'd be a nice little test subject. You can kind of get up in there. Let's see if we can zoom in. I think this is the zoom button. Yeah. So it just zooms. Okay. Up to 1.5 zoom. So we can actually go a little deeper in here and see what that is. But it just looks like a piece of calcium or something. That's what it looks like to me. But but pull it out and there we are so I think that's a nice little test sample all right next little test is here in the dark right so not everything's gonna have light where you're gonna be searching so let's just go ahead and see again here is the sink and again here is our findings nastiness right <laughs> And it's not picking up the very best on my camera, but just know I can see it pretty clearly on the display screen. 
But um, yeah. Pretty good. I'm gonna give them a, a solid 10 out of 10 for what they provided with this thing. This thing works pretty good wonders. So while we're here, just a couple things to go over real fast. So this is a seven inch screen. It's a 1080p camera. So it's got three lenses on. It's got one on the top and then one on each side. So there's one, two, three lenses. Nice LED light at the top. Um, again, seven inch screen here is nice, light and durable. So that's always handy. Pretty user friendly as you guys seen. If you don't have any experiences with an endoscope or borescope, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can pretty much figure it out. This is pretty easy to use, very user friendly. Now whatever footage you were able to capture and you want it saved to your computer or whatever, that USB will connect straight to your uh, computer and download your files right there live and direct. Yeah, so the charge life on these things, they say four hours, so that's a pretty good amount of time, four hours on a charge. Again, you charge it with that USB and it is waterproof, so let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Go ahead and turn the sink on. Doesn't look like it's faulting at all whatsoever. Let's just see what happens when you stick it back here with the water on. Hmm. You definitely see the water dripping in there. Alright, so pretty happy with this setup. Like I said, light, durable, great camera, um, quality build on everything. The super user friendly, everything about this borescope or endoscope, whatever you want to call it, this thing knocked it out of its park. This would be the first one I've ever owned. I've only ever used some at work, which are top end, and uh, this is right on par with it. So if you guys are looking for, I wouldn't say cheap, but if you guys are looking for a borescope or endoscope that's reliable, efficient, um, look no further than Depth Tech. So again, huge shout out to shout out to you guys over at Depth Tech. This is again the DS700 series. All right, so go ahead. So I will link this down in the description box down below and their website. You can do some more research on them and whatnot. So yeah, again, this is a great product, and if you guys are looking for something, highly, highly suggest you go ahead and pick up one of these for yourself. So once again, thanks to Depth Tech for sending this out. I do plan on using this on the car when I need to do some more inspections and this will be my go-to little tool that I'll be using. So again, just want to say thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, another type of review that you'd like to see done with this thing before you purchase one, let me know and I'll be glad to make that video for you guys. So other than that, just want to say thanks for watching, never live your life an idol, and we will see you guys in the next video.